All right, all right, all right. What is going on, everybody? We are out here in beautiful Illinois in the winter. I apologize, the audio on this intro clip is going to suffer a bit because I can't bring my microphone out here in the cold. But today, I want to talk about Matthew McConaughey and how we can journal like him. While I was reading Matthew McConaughey's book, Green Lights, as I came across very introspective ideas, I wrote them down and I created this seven step journaling activity that anyone can do as a way to gain self-awareness. Now, I partook in this journaling activity for one week last week and I can confidently tell you that doing this takes about an hour of time if you do it detailed and you will gain a clearer and deeper understanding of who you are and what you want in your life. I'm not gonna lie and say that I have all of my stuff figured out, but this activity did help me gain a deeper understanding and I hope it can do the same for you all. Without further ado, let's get to it. Number one is I value blank. Just fill in that blank. Number two, I am not. You have to define who you are not before you can learn who you are. It makes it way easier this way. So write out the different descriptions, characteristics, job titles that you know that you are not. Number three and number four, green lights and red lights. Now green lights is the name of the book, so it might be fairly important. Green lights? Or when things are going well, when you're hitting your stride. Maybe in the past things went well for you. Maybe things are going well right now. Ask yourself those things. Figure out what those things are. Red lights are when things are not going well. What didn't go well for you in the past? What isn't going well for you right now? The more you understand what is or isn't going well for you, the more you can figure out what you should or should not be doing with your time. Number five, what is success? What does it mean to you? What's your hill? If this one is pretty simple. Define success. Everybody has a different definition. Everyone's success is going to look different. It's a lot easier to get to your destination when you know where you're going. Number six is very similar to number five. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? What are you going to be doing? What have you done? What are your daily disciplines like? This is different from what is success, what's my hill, because here you're going to actually visualize yourself. For me, I'm 21. I'm trying to visualize myself at 31. You know, what do I see for myself? These are important things to ask yourself because if you don't know where you're going again, how are you going to get there? Number seven, design your ideal life. Sit down with the different journal entries that you've looked at already and Figure out if this is where you want to go, how does a day-to-day -day version of that look like? What does it look like? Before you just dive into something, before you take that next job, before you just start doing things, it may be a good idea 
to figure out what you want your life to look like because what happens with a lot of people is that they essentially take a job and they get put in these parameters and then they try to fit their life inside of that and then what happens is maybe they start gaining weight they start getting depressed because they're not actually doing the things that they want to be doing so figure out what you want to be doing first and then go fit everything else into that and I want to end here on a quote life is like architecture it's a verb if designed well it works it just needs maintenance